Our multivalent vaccine has immunogens for many different viruses. Now there's 18 different influenza A types and two influenza B types. We don't know which of these influenza virus types will cause our next pandemic. So we said hey, we will just make a vaccine that has immunogens from all known 20 influenza types that currently circulate. In this way, we can have a vaccine that elicits not immunity just to one immunogen, but rather immunogens from any type of influenza virus that may cause our next pandemic. Now, mRNA vaccines are different. They don't, they don't actually have proteins in the vaccine itself, but instead they encode the genetic material for our cells to transiently produce influenza proteins. When we receive an influenza mRNA vaccine, our cells start producing influenza proteins and our adaptive immune system, our T cells and B cells become activated. These same T cells and B cells can then be recalled if we are exposed to a virus that contains those proteins later on down the road. And so these mRNA vaccines have an uncanny ability to elicit immune responses to multiple antigens at the same time, which is very useful when we're trying to combat variable viruses like influenza viruses. We're currently planning a human clinical study to test if this vaccine can elicit strong immune responses in humans who have very diverse immune histories to influenza viruses. And if, if our clinical studies are successful, we think that this vaccine can be employed to elicit uh, a background level of immunity that can be quickly recalled upon exposure to a pandemic influenza strain. We think that this multivalent vaccine approach will be useful for viruses other than influenza virus. For example, coronaviruses, well, there's a whole, whole lot of those out in nature. And we think that this multivalent approach would be useful for priming the immune system uh, to be able to respond to the diverse coronavirus types that we may encounter in the future.